Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model this piece in Autodesk Inventor 2022. If you don't know how to open the workspace, I will show you right now. Let's go here at new, select new, and we will choose standard in millimeters because as you see, we have here the metric system. Double click on it. We will start with this photo, especially with this rectangle, because as you see, the base, it is a rectangle with the dimensions 90 and 48. And then we will add the other sketches. So we will go here to start to the sketch, select, for example, this plan, and we'll create a rectangle. And write 48 tab 90 units, and then press enter. Double click on the mouse wheel. And after that, we can see here that we have two circles. So a circle with a radius of nine, that means it has a diameter of 18 units. And the other one, it has a diameter of 30 units, exactly from the middle. So let's get back. Let's create a circle center point, pick up the green point because this is the midpoint and write 18. The command, as you see, it is still active and we will construct the other one, 30 units and press enter. Now let's trim the extra part. So use the trim command. And now we must create two rectangles. But before of doing that, I must tell you that there is no measurement here for the thickness. But judging by the fact here, we have a thickness of six and here also a thickness of six. We will assume that all the other thicknesses, for example, this one, the base and so on, all of them are roughly six millimeters. So let's get back here. We will construct, as I said, another rectangle with the dimensions 90, as you see, and six units. So go to the rectangle, to point rectangle, and we will write six tab 90 units and then press enter. The same thing, we'll do it in the other side. So six tab 90 units and press enter. Good. Here, we need to create another rectangle, but we have the dimensions 10 and 21. And as we see, it is exactly in the middle as well. So the command is still active. 10 tab 21. Let's add now a dimension. So between the midpoint here and this edge, it must be exactly the half of this distance. So 48 divided by two, this means 24. So go to the dimension, select this point and this edge, and let's write 24. Go now to the coincidental constraint and place it here. Now we must offset this rectangle with six units, as you see. So go to the offset, to make a parallel rectangle and write six units. Go to trim, delete those extra parts, and now finish the sketch. Press the home button and let's extrude it. As I said before, the base it has six millimeters. So select all these parts. Also this one, and we will write here six. Okay. Now let's go here to solid bodies, extrusion, and this sketch. I want to make this sketch visible and this solid invisible. Okay, now we can focus on the other parts as well. We need an extrusion of 42 units. So let's go to extrude, select just this part. And I want to explain you something here. We can write 42, but as you see, our operation now is not to cut. Our operation, it will be to join. So to add material. Moreover, if you want another body, you can also click here to new solid. We can see that there is another color. With this new solid, this one, it will be the solid number two because the first one, it is the solid number one. But in our case, it doesn't matter too much. So we will put it just with join. But let's flip it because we want it in the opposite direction. And now we press OK. The next extrusion that we must have it is here. So we have both objects of a 30 units height. So let's go to the extrude, select both. But the same thing here, join, flip the side and write 30. OK. And the last one here, it is 30 minus 6. So that means 24 units. So extrude pick up this part 24 good press OK and now let's have a look make this sketch invisible and the solid visible and here it is it is exactly what we want 
For the last part here, we need to add these two holes. In order to do that, we must construct first the first circle here, which has a diameter of 18 units and it is located far away from this point with the distances 13 and 45. So select this surface first of all, and here we have a button, create sketch. Click like this, create a circle, a circle of 18, as I said, and now let's add some dimensions. Pick up the center and until here we have 45 and until here we must have 13. Finish the sketch and go to extrude. Select this part, flip it. The operation, okay, it will be to cut, but here we must mention that it is through all. So to be for both holes and then press OK. And for the last part, let's color it. As you saw, it is red, so we will type red. And here it is. It is the same. So our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.